Welcome to your magic moon message. This is the peace dealer. The moon is in Pisces and the sun is in Leo. We are coming into the 210 degree harvest, which is bringing a very metaphysical or a potent metaphysical understanding of unseen influences that take our belief <laughs> metaphysical influences that take our belief and understanding of what we have activated and integrated and change our beliefs relative to uh, where we take things um, don't necessarily get caught up on how things may seem as much as maintaining the proper attitude as well as uh, the mindset necessary to move forward accordingly, as this will definitely uh, bring things to much greater perspective moving forward. And as long as you once again maintain the mindsets that have been activated with Mars and Jupiter, this will look to be very fruitful. Um, definitely look forward to many ups and downs in effort to change uh, and effectively transform with this Scorpio signature, not only this metaphysical understanding, but in alignment with the integrity of your beliefs, putting yourself in a position to really claim uh, what you were meant to learn from everything that's been revealed moving forward as this change of belief will shift as the um, moon goes into Aries and the sun goes into Virgo and we're just a lot more locked in and aware of how specifically we wish to move forward. Once again, um, no matter how things may feel, even if you're frustrated or even if you're up right now, uh, look forward to major changes. The angle with Neptune and Saturn that will be made to Gemini really put you in a dis position to realistically open up like never before to possibilities which will, in harvesting this energy, have you harness this in much more of a way that takes into account how you've evolved. So the square that the moon, Saturn, and Neptune will be making to Jupiter, and of course, Mars, bring a 270 degree realization of how your beliefs are continuing to align with this forward movement in action you think you should move forward towards. And with the sun at the crucial point right before it goes into Virgo, uh, this is getting ready to integrate everything and to bring more practicality and tangibility as we step into mastery. So definitely look forward to coming into uh, a peak understanding. Once again, no matter how uh, things may seem, depending on, of course, maybe actions or, or failure to execute strategies, the way you'd wish you'd want to um, keep in your mind's eye the goal and you will be surprised how you get there because you can't really predict or assume that you will know versus just assuming uh, what it is you wish to step into and not really worrying too much about how as you will make your way there. Um, that being said, the sextile that Pisces will be making to the Taurus energy will actually work wonders relative to putting you in a position to capitalize and come into a uh, very innovative and unconventional methods of really, you know, actualizing important success and putting yourself more in a position to reap off of this as the transformation of this level of courage uh, as it reaches its peak gives you a full and final understanding of what is changing in your beliefs relative to your performance that you will review and analyze as we head into Virgo. 
And of course, we do have Venus in Virgo. So uh, relative to the last time the moon was in Virgo on Venus, and we were understanding how we're polishing this analysis, we're getting ready to harvest this relative to the shifting and change in our beliefs. As bad as things may feel or as good as things may feel, uh, do expect things to shift so that you can account for those shifts. Um, but you also want to look into very divine and major revelations and realizations that moving forward will really do you well as far as improving and as far as coming into uh, greater rewards moving forward. OK, um, being able to learn from any mistakes or being able to really move forward with any progress step by step is going to really get you farthest the most uh we still do have the aries you know north node in chiron so when the moon actually goes into aries the sun will be in virgo and this is going to majorly shift how we're transforming uh our understanding of who we are and what we're ready to master moving forward so it's a really great day to review we're ending this season off um you know during this harvest phase the 180 to 270 degrees and you definitely want to be put more in a position to take account of how powerfully and how perfectly you're in a position to now really be receptive to what you are supposed to pay attention to and act off on based on that. Especially with the Jupiter square to the moon, given that we are expanding our mindset, this is going to shift how much more we can believe in seeing what we've completed relative to applying this. All right. Um, that being said, once again, certain things, the, the mutable nature of Pisces can bring drastic highs and lows. So you definitely want to maintain the proper attitude and, and uh, behavior through this in order to gain the most out of said transit. And your ability to look beyond what it is you're experiencing on the surface is what's going to really have you move forward and through this arc ride. Uh, even if in the moment it looks like, you know, you're you may you may be taking a leap of faith and you may be kind of moving out on a limb. You would be very happy to know it all pays off uh, more than you can expect. It will always turn out better than you imagine. And just keep your mind's eye focused on the vision. Everything you know, you're ready to really step into and manifest. Okay. We won't come into this 210 degree angle until maybe another day and a half. So while the moon is, you know, now really close to Saturn in Pisces, we are going to be activating a new 28 day cycle, a zero degree conjunction between Saturn and of course, uh, the moon in Pisces. And this, this karmic understanding revisits this total integrity of beliefs so that as it will eventually reach Neptune, we're coming into more of a full transformation of how specifically our imagination affects our performance and how we're able to integrate how we, how we imagine we wanna express ourselves uh, so we can understand transcendence in order to transform this process into something not only more effective, but more lucrative, more powerful, more profitable. And yeah, I guess I don't have to make this uh, magic moon message too long. Um, given that the transit from the moon into Aries will also coincide with the sun into Virgo, it's going to shift the length uh, or nature of these angles. So instead of just coming straight into uh, the Sagittarius signature, we're going to come more into that when the moon is in Taurus, which is going to bring more to a head stability and groundedness relative to how well you maneuver uh, these periods. So yeah, don't get too caught up on maybe for better or for worse events that occur this is just to account for the fluctuation and change as once we step into this virgo season it's going to bring a whole host of change for real real change and and shift things 
very considerably. So you re once again want to look towards the opposition of Venus to smooth out your options moving forward and, and what you could do with it. You guys stay blessed as always. And until next time, peace.